afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Arbor Park yet again. Another game as we head towards the, well, it is the penultimate game of the season here at Arbor Park. As the teams now arrive onto the pitch, both in their home strips for this afternoon's game. I'll start with the Rebels then. In goal is Dan Lincoln, uh, shortly followed by Josh Jetman, the captain, of course. Uh, then there's Gabe George. Gary Abasogan gets a start. Uh, it's his first start, of course, for some time. Uh, Matt Lynch, Nathan Minas, Johnny Goddard, Leon Chambers Perillon gets a start after a couple of excellent performances off the bench lately. Uh, Scott Davis, Temia Wecker, and David Ogbonna on the bench. Here's Joe Dandy, Jamal Prosper, Will Bailey, Trey Kirkapia, and Ryan North. For the away side, then, the Saints. Uh, two changes to their last 11, which saw them lose 1-0 at home to Braintree. Uh, in goal for them is Michael Johnson, uh, Jack James, Dan Bowery, uh, Gio Rasulo, Sean Jeffers, the 25-goal uh, man this season. He's second top goal scorer, but he's got some way to go if he's going to catch Molly Pierce, of course. Uh, Zane Banton, Mitchell Vice. Captain today is Joe Partington. And Dominic Hutchinson is there in the starting 11. The former Rebel this season is in line to play against them this afternoon. It's not, sorry, it's a free kick. So maybe a soft foul given away there by David. Oh, out on that right-hand side currently. Just trying his best now to put a bit of pressure on. And uh, he's done so successfully as Obono races away after stealing possession. It's now Goddard finds Minas in the box. Tries a low effort with his right foot. Keeps it alive though. And allows Johnny Goddard to finish it off against his former side. It's another one of those special slough goals in the first minute as we've had so frequently of recent. And slough lead. I think Lynch winning the ball back there, just able to free Ogbonna down that right-hand side. He was slightly under hit ball into Goddard to start with, and I thought the chance had gone, but a great through ball there into Minas, who was in acres of space. Absolutely acres of space. And then there's that shot sort of came back across the goal. Couldn't see who it was in the middle. He very, very cleverly left it, I think, having learned from... Um, I think it may have been Matt Lynch, as the person I want to say it was. It could be wrong, but, yeah, it's, it's funny, isn't it, how they've learned their lesson, like, even with that um, high press from Slough. Davis sends a pot ball into the path of Abasogan. And then Gay George has been put through, sends it over again to Gary Abasogan, who's making his way towards goal. It's a left footed half volley. A little bit off balance there as well with Joe Partington attached to his hip. And landed on the pitch at the Bob Lucas Stadium. So obviously, thoughts go out to the, those involved with that. But um, not quite sure as to what will happen with the conclusion of that game. Yeah, I've got out there finding Leon. It's now David who tries a left footed shot. Minas is the one first alive to it, and he's managed to sneak it under Michael Johnson and Slough have doubled their lead. Just after the 15 minute mark, Minas quickest to it. 2 0 Slough. Yeah, great. Great awareness there from the striker just to pounce on that loose ball after that shot a bit blocked. Nice low finish there under Johnson. Just rolls it to the net. So, yeah, 2, two nil Slough. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as that rain now does come down at Arbor Park, it won't certainly won't be uh, downing any spirits here for the, the Rebel support. It'll be very buoyed by this. Yeah, you might maybe just be able to hear slightly the rain just slowly becoming heavier as Gary Abasogan now makes some space to shoot on his right hand, right hand side. Yeah, right hand, right foot. Sorry, and uh, sends a powerful effort over the crossbar. Players that are on a bit of a press there. And actually, it's left now with a little bit of uh, defending to do here. Lots of open spaces in front of their back line as the midfield now just getting back. It's with Vice. Finds Jack James, who has space on this right side. Habersogan's back to support Geb George. It's put in by Banton. It's flicked on by Dominic Hutchinson. It's sent over the bar. Taken short and quick there by the away side. It's now Banton driving forward. It's got James to his right-hand side with some space. Going to put a low ball in towards the six-yard area. Scott Davis couldn't there cut it out at all. And it's been sent over the bar. Although it looks like it may have taken a deflection as the referee has given a corner kick. Finds Banton in some space in the middle of the centre circle. Looks to the left-hand side for Vice. He's got Francis Clark on the overlap, but he opts to go through the middle to Rizzullo. Who finds Francis Clark and continued his run. He finds Jeffers in a bit of space. And Aweka does really well to get across. Has a, an accidental 
fake kick up the field there from Gary Abasogan. Just actually causes a problem for himself. He actually ends up giving away a free kick there, Gary Abasogan. Jeffers, though, is actually still down in the box. I think Awek has also felt something too as he tried to make that. Um, takes a short instead to Abasogan. Oh, nice bit of footwork there from Abasogan. Finds Lynch. Still out on the left hand side. And that's, that's an astonishing bit of uh, footwork there from Albona to try even to even have the audacity to try and... Yep, so let's just send it in more into the central area. It's headed, I think, there by Weka towards goal. I think Johnson may have palmed it away. Escape George, though, keeping it alive for Slough, but he's had his pocket pick there for a second by Berger, but Albona does the same. It's a bit of a knock there on Albona right on the edge of the box by Vies, but I don't think, again, there was enough there for... A clear claim at the penalty, but some loose passing again from St Albans. Banton goes down. No foul given, and there's a break on now for the away team. It's up to Mitchell Weiss. They've got numbers here, St Albans. It's late back, and it's not quite accurate enough to reach a man in blue. Cut out by Gabe George. And Abasoga now fighting away to cause a, a break for Slough itself. As Minas there leaves Gary Abasoga, who lays it across the box to David O'Bono, and it's a great save in the end by Michael Johnson. Hutchinson now lays it into the path of Banton. It's now with Rosulo in the centre circle yet again. It's being allowed a little bit more space than before, though, and there's more space on this left-hand side. It's a great ball in into the six-yard area, which has been cut out by Dan Lincoln. Just flicks the ball up the line towards Abbas Hogan again, just tries to get it under control, just looking around for that next pass. Lays a through ball into Minas, who is on side, just down the far side of that box. Looks to play one across, but is well blocked. Is now Chambers brilliant down by the corner flag. Moves it onto his right foot, swings a high looping one in towards Jamie. Tries the volley. It's ambitious <laughs> there from the fullback. Hutchinson to Banton. Does enough to squeeze it through to Berger, who reaches the ball before Goddard. It's now Blackman who sends one in. It's a great cross in. It's just left Dan Lincoln unsighted and it slipped through. I'm not sure if he did get a touch in the end there, Big Mitchell Weiss, but uh, it is 2 1. So it's definitely one for, I think, for the video replay. It's already the Saints back in possession and looking to make their way through the Rebels yet again. It is slipped through to Sean Jeffers by Rasulo, who sends the ball over the bar. And do you think, with the fact it's Prosper that's coming and not someone like, for like, for example, like Trey Kukap here, is that? Scott may be potentially thinking we need a bit more defensive cover now. Yeah, it would certainly typify with um, how Slough have often performed in the second halves. It was a great ball. In there from Goddard, both. great covering tackle there from Bowery, but does break out to the right to Ogbonna. Good tap in, but again, good cover from Hutchinson at the expense of a corner. And there's a massive rainbow that Aid is adamantly trying to point out to me and Gary at the moment, which is now shining across our park. So Mensa now with the throw. Finds James. Tries to slip it inside and it does actually reach a man. There's a challenge put in by Leon Chambers Perillon. And it's a penalty that has been awarded. And it's a right foot strike, sends Dan Lincoln the wrong way. Goes towards the keeper's left hand side post. And St. Albans City are level. There's a bit of a scramble in the goal net at the minute. Again, but he's just done too much here. It's a loud space and a chance perhaps to shoot, but it's blocked again by Prosper. He makes up for it, and now there's a break again on for Slough. It's up towards Matt Lynch. He's got Trey Kukapia and O'Connor. Needs more support there on this left hand side if he can. Cuts inside on his right foot. Lynch strikes towards goal. It's an excellent save by Johnson down again. Smart back heel though by O'Connor. Trey Kukapia then gets a shot away. Davis now heads away. Header for Blackman to send it back Slough's way. Will Prosper try and keep this in play? He does. He hooks it up field along that right-hand side. Flicked on by Leon, who sends in Matt Lynch in towards goal. Johnson will come across. It's laid back across. A tray catch to Capio has managed to send it wide somehow. All of the Slough players fall to the floor. Well, not all of them, most of them, but still. And while that's happening, St. Albans have tried to keep playing, and the referee does blow for full time. As Tevye Weka continues just to lay on the floor, Scott Davis is on his, on his bottom. He's just inside the centre circle there. Unbelievably frustrated at the Trey Kukapia miss we've just seen. 
Oh, that was a, a, a bit of a quick two minutes there. 